Fantasy Football Today, Week 5 Position Previews plus Hashtag AskFFT Mailbag. How should you handle by weeks? How should you handle the seemingly imminent returns of Jonathan Taylor and Cooper Cup? How should you handle the suddenly floundering Bengals offense? You've got a lot of questions, and hopefully, we've got some answers. That's the way this is supposed to work, and today's newsletter is about trying to give you the answers you need. First up, we've got Heath Cummings' Week 5 Position Previews, where he tackles the biggest questions facing each position ahead of our first week of bye weeks. We also covered a lot of trade talk ground on the Wednesday FFT podcast. Then, I'm actually answering your questions with an hashtag AskFFT mailbag. Want to get your specific questions answered? Well, we've got plenty of opportunities for that on the Fantasy Football Today YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to get notified every time we go live. And then you can email me at chris.towers at paramount.com to get included in our next hashtag AskFFT mailbag Sunday morning. Let's get those answers you're looking for. Every Tuesday, Heath Cummings previews each position, providing injury insights, key stats to know, the best waiver wire ads, DFS targets, and more for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. Here's a brief rundown of each position, along with some key details you need to know before you go read Heath's full breakdowns. QB Preview Week 5 brings us our first round of buys and means that at quarterback you won't have the option of starting Justin Herbert, Geno Smith, Deshaun Watson, or Baker Mayfield. And to be honest, while Joe Burrow and Dak Prescott are both playing, I cannot imagine you want to start either of them either. Neither one ranks as a top 18 QB for me this week. I would even understand if you were wondering if they are droppable. I'm not there yet, but it's a fair question. Burrow is the easiest prognosis. I'm not starting him for the next month and I'm not dropping him. He is the very definition of a must-stash player. He has no floor right now and I'm not sure he has much of a ceiling until he gets healthy. I wouldn't expect that to happen before his week 7 bye, and I'm not starting him in week 8 against the 49ers either. Hopefully he's himself by week 9, T. Higgins is healthy and the Bengals can salvage their season, and their fantasy manager's seasons. RB Preview The Indianapolis Colts will welcome Jonathan Taylor back to practice this week, and open the 21-day window for him to return to play. Now things get really interesting. We still have not heard from Taylor's camp that his stance on a trade or playing for the Colts this season has changed. We have heard optimism from Shane Steichen that Taylor could potentially play this week, but that is about it. Which means we're at, or rapidly approaching, an inflection point. WR Preview Cooper Cup will return to practice this week, though that doesn't mean he'll be ready to play in Week 5. Still, it's long past time to make some assumptions about what his return means for the Rams and Puka Nakua. There are at least three ways I could see this going. 1. Cup returns and claims his 32% target share and everyone is left to fight for the scraps. 2. Nakua is a legitimately great wide receiver who impacts Cup's target share. 3. Cup is re-injured or never fully regains form. 3. Is the easiest to diagnose, Nakua would remain a top 12 wide receiver for the foreseeable future. The other two are more complicated. TE Preview It's a challenge to find something to do in the intro to the tight end preview every week. I mean, sure. I could complain about how terrible tight end is again. But other than that, well. Sam Laporta has been pretty awesome. Laporta ranks fourth among all tight ends in TPRR at 25.7% and second in overall target share at 21.8%. Maybe most impressive is that his 2.30 YPRR is best among all tight ends with a double-digit target share this season. Pretty awesome, indeed. Hashtag AskFFT Mailbag. Have some questions? 
Send them my way at chris.towers at paramount.com with the subject line hashtag AskFFT to be included in a future edition of the newsletter, and if I don't include it in the newsletter, there's a pretty good chance I'll answer directly. Here are this week's questions. Jenny, I'm super WR heavy on my team. I have Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, Puka Nakua, Tank Dell, and now I have to move Copper Cup up from reserve. Would you ever play both Cup and Nakua? What do I do with all my talent? I hate to get rid of any of them. The first question I have in response to this specific version of this question is, how many WRs can you start? If it's a 3WR league, I think you probably just stand pat, starting Jefferson, Lamb, Cup, and Nakua every week they're active and don't think too hard about it.